Ah, the memories. This little point and shoot camera was my earliest photography experience. As time went on, technology advanced and today we have devices like our smartphones which we use to take pictures of our everyday activities. Today, we are going to be diving into the world of cameras and here's 20 things about cameras you probably didn't know. Coming in at number one is the camera obscura. Originating from the Latin words camera, which meant room, and obscura meaning dark. The camera obscura was the first camera ever recorded in history, dating back to 5 BCE with philosopher Mosey. Artists across history employed the camera obscura to trace scenes onto surfaces for painting, enabling precision and accuracy in their artistry. This ancient concept traced back centuries utilized a small hole to project an inverted image onto a surface within enclosed spaces. This innovative technique, blending optics and the manipulation of light, laid foundation for what we know as modern photography today. The earliest photograph ever recorded was a heliograph that was taken by French inventor and photographer Joseph Nicephore Niepce. Niepce developed heliography, stemming from Greek origins of helios, meaning sun, and graphy, meaning writing. The Epsi heliograph experiments were said to have happened somewhere between 1826 and 1828. Till today, the exact dates remain unknown. The groundbreaking creation was an eight hour long exposure that was captured with pewter plate on bitumen. It marked the first time that light was used to imprint an image onto a material surface. Niepce's pioneering work in heliography paved the way for another French inventor named Louis de Guerre. Though they never physically met, de Guerre acquired the rights to Niepce's heliography papers. The daguerreotype process was intricate and meticulous. It required the preparation of silver-plated copper plates coated with a light-sensitive layer of iodine. These plates were then exposed to the camera, creating an invisible latent image. The image was developed using mercury vapor and fixed with a salt solution, producing a one-of-a-kind detailed photograph. In 1839, a photography pioneer, Robert Cornelius, captured the very first selfie in Philadelphia, standing outside his family business. George Eastman, the founder of Kodak, developed the flexible film role in 1888, revolutionizing photography by simplifying the process and making it more easily accessible. Edwin Land introduced the Polaroid camera in 1947, offering immediate development of photographs without the need for external processing. The first digital camera was invented in 1975 by an engineer who worked at Eastman Kodak named Steven Sasson. The camera captured only in black and white and captured at a whopping 0.01 megapixel. The concept of disposable cameras was popularized in the 1980s. Fujifilm released the first disposable camera and it was named Utsuru Desu or Quick Snap in 1986, making photography more convenient for casual users. The term paparazzi originates from a character from the La De Vita by Federico Fellini. The character Paparazzo was a pushy photographer and since the release of that movie, his name has been associated with aggressive photographers who want pictures of celebrities. At number 10 is the world's most expensive camera. The most expensive camera ever sold at an auction was a Leica Zero Series Model 105, which sold for just over 15 million US dollars. It was sold for five times the projection that it was estimated. The camera was owned by Oscar Banach, founder of Leica, whose name is engraved on the viewfinder. The first camera phone, the JSH04, was launched in Japan by Sharp in the year 2000, revolutionizing how we integrate cameras into our phones. Camera traps. Utilized in wildlife photography, these motion-triggered cameras capture animals in their natural habitat without human interference. The world's longest exposure. Photographer Regina Valkenbo set a record with a pinhole camera made from drink can, exposing an image for over eight years and somewhere around 
30 days. The camera was mounted at a telescope dome in the University of Hertfordshire's Observatory in Bayfordbury, United Kingdom. The image captured the sun's tracks over 2,953 days, showcasing the university building's outlines and the sun's path during the winter and summer solstice. Valkumbo initially set up multiple camera cans during her school days, but it wasn't taken down until during a maintenance on the solar farm. The invention of waterproof cameras opened up the marine world to photographers, capturing the incredible beauty and diversity of marine life. At number 15, the smallest camera. Omnivision's OVM6948 camera cube chip is basically the tiniest camera module ever made. While this is not a typical camera you would want to pick up for your everyday selfie or bangers you'd want to post on Instagram, this camera is more suited and designed for medical purposes. Measuring only 0.65 millimeters by 0.65 millimeters, this camera is perfect for fitting into medical gear like guide wires, catheters, endoscopes. You can even fit it into stuff with just a 1.0 millimeter diameter. All the images and videos captured are at a 200 by 200 pixel resolution and it also shoots videos up to 30 frames per second and it can also transmit data over 4 meters without being too noisy. It's hard to overstate the importance of Kodak. Kodak's Kodachrome film introduced in 1935 became the world's first commercially successful color film and remained in production up to 75 years. Jacques Yves Cousteau's pioneering work played a huge role in popularizing underwater photography and helped to increase conservation efforts. We have spoken a lot about everything that has happened to cameras over the years. Let's talk about some more recent happenings. The 2010s witnessed a surge in mirrorless cameras, offering comparable performance to DSLRs in a small lighter package. There was the famous DSLR versus mirrorless wars within the 2010s to which a lot of photography purists held on to their DSLRs while early innovators foresaw the triumph of the mirrorless line. Thanks to the advancement in technology of mirrorless cameras, sometime in 2023, the Sony A93 introduced the groundbreaking global shutter. Let's, let's rewind to understand the problem. Most cameras use a CMOS sensor, which scans the image from top to bottom. Aside this, there's also a mechanical shutter, which also captures images in a similar scanning fashion. The challenge then becomes that there is a slight lag in time with which all the parts of the image are exposed. This results in distorted or warped edges of fast moving objects. Rolling shutter distortion can make fast moving objects wobbly or distorted. Enter global shutter, which eliminates this problem by capturing the entire scene at once. It's a game changer for sports, drones and even scientific imagery. But here's the catch. It costs a little bit more. But nonetheless, this tech is advancing pretty fast, promising distortion-free images and seamless flash sync. Number 20, the future of camera. AI integration and augmented reality features are poised to change the way we interact with cameras on a daily basis. Cameras might soon recognize emotion, identify objects, and even translate languages in real time, blurring the lines between reality and an augmented experience. Wait. Don't they already do that? Thank you so much for watching this video from beginning to end. If you really loved it, you could help us by clicking the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you think there's anyone who might like this, you might as well share, you know? It was really fun creating this video and I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. Until then, my name remains Emmanuel King Itekbuji and this is Trido Vye Makadini.